Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be covering a very nifty piece of software offered by Linux Mint because Linux Mint is basically the best distro that has ever existed and oh well, well aside from Arch obviously, but you know, we're going to get into some things. So, uh Chrome OS, right? What's what's the big thing that Chrome OS does? Everything's a web app. Every little tiny thing you want a text editor, web app, right? You want Discord right there, web app. You want uh I don't know. Spotify web app, right? Everything is a web app. Now, do I personally think everything should be a web app? Uh, I don't I don't know so much about that, but there are a lot of things that can be web apps. Now, what if you could make a web app yourself? Why not, right? There's a couple of things that exist in the world uh, where you can do that. Uh, Vivaldi has its own little thing where you can create web apps. I think there's a couple other browsers that do it, right? But however, I don't like necessarily using those things. I used to be a Vivaldi guy. Um, <clears throat> I kind of went back to Firefox. I couldn't tell you why. I'm just on it. I use Firefox the majority of the time anyway, so I, I just started doing it again. So what do we what do we do if Firefox doesn't offer the option of web apps? Well, the people over at Linux Mint, you know, they they got an app for that. They 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 did it right. So if I go into here. There's this thing called web apps, right? Uh, first of all, you can get this on anything, right? Um, let's see. Oh, look, I already, I still have the search here. So this is an AUR. This is obviously available on Debian. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just about on anything. You could build it on your machine if you absolutely had to, right? Web app manager. Very simple, simple thing. A couple examples, like I play this uh, idle game, right? And I don't like the colors. It's just blue in your face. So one of the things is, is when you make these web apps, they, they go under their own kind of profile or whatever. So you have to add whatever extensions you want to use. Now, <clears throat> this sets you up for some really cool things that you can do. Because let's say on your normal browser, you wouldn't use like Grayscale Bro on everything. That's the plugin that's making this Grayscale. Grayscale Bro, it's awesome. Check it out. Anyway, um, you wouldn't use that on every single site or all the time or whatever. However, this particular website, I kind of always just use the Grayscale thing because otherwise it's like blue, you know? Anyway... <clears throat> You can do some cool stuff with it. I, 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 I've been theory crafting on this a little bit. Um, so Amazon, right? Let's say you wanted to set up an Amazon one. Well, there's a ton of Firefox add-ons that do Amazon stuff, this and that, right? Let's say you want to do Discord, right? I have one set up for Discord right here. And any sort of pro program or thing that you would normally use on Discord, like Vencord, stuff like that, you can just have this run here. Now, what is the advantage to that? Well, you know, every time that update comes around for Discord and you're stuck for a day with it going, or if you know the little trick to get it to work, this avoids that completely because the, the website is always going to be up to date. You know what I mean? You don't have to worry about updates on the website. Another one I did, because I'm trying to get better at typing without looking at my, my fingers, right? Monkey type, right? Easy beans. Look, I got monkey type right here, bro. Very cool. All right, we're going to go, we're going to set one up, right? So there's, there's a couple of, I'll, I'll just run through it. All right, let me go into here. I want to set one up for cool text. Cool text is the, per, the website that I use. I'm going to copy the URL. This is what I use to do the text on my thumbnails and stuff like that. We're going to go right here. I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to go cool text right and then we'll just add in the website boom <clears throat> now um let's see we're gonna do under graphics firefox you could pick a specific browser if you want obviously custom parameters uh you know you know this this stuff here i don't play with any of that however this um you know what you would call it this icon i want to uh do something so let's see cool text icon trans i know that i probably won't be able to find the the real icon for the website but i'm gonna find something close that i i feel like fits in really well 
All right, let's see. Uh, honestly, I kind of just want to do either this guy. Yeah, this guy is perfect. Now, what I've done is in my pictures folder, I have this folder called assets. And what this is, is this is just like all this different things that, um, you know, different programs access to have graphics uh, throughout my machine, throughout my setup. So you can just save it right in a folder like that. We go over here, we're gonna switch this, uh, browse, right? And then pictures, we find the cool text, uh, pictures, assets, right here. Bang, sweet. And we select it, and there we go. Now I have this. Okay, now, all right, I can close this, and if I go to cool text, it should open up like this and yeah there we go and now if this was oh you see all this these ads and stuff we got we got to fix that right so i'm going to go right here into the extensions and we're going to just look up some sort of ad blocker you know what i mean um where's the one that everybody uses um, no, I don't want to customize a sidebar. Ah, there we go. Come on, just search, bud. Now, I can add this. Thank you. So, if I open this now... I shouldn't have a bunch of ads and stuff. You are going to get this little sidebar thing, but you can just hide sidebar and that'll go away forever. And now I have the cool text set up. And like I said, you can set this up for any website you'd want. And one of the <clears throat> upsides to this is, number one, there's a lot of things that don't act as an app, right? That are really good that uh, as an app. And number two, you you can also just dial back the number of packages and dependencies on your machine by using this sort of thing. Yeah. And that's about it, you know. Um, I don't think there's much more of an explanation. I need to go into that one. This is a, a real, a real quick video. A real quick video. I just wanted to put this out there because it's something I've been using that I find to be like very um, convenient. Anyways, if you like the video, please like, sh share, subscribe, do all the weird things and all the stuff. I know I have to say this on every video, otherwise it's weird. Um, yeah, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the nice weather and the rest of your day. You know, today's my Friday. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to live it up a little bit. All right, I'll check you guys later. Peace.